What's going on everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guys and today I'm be going over the best team captains to choose as well as kind of explaining the whole Madden loyalty promo as well as the players you do receive for being a part of that. I'll go over everything so stay tuned to the end if you're just here for loyalty listen to the team captain part because this could help you guys out as well. There's four of them. There has been years where they're trash, years where they're good. I think this is one of the better years and setups for them and I'll explain why in just a second. But before we get into the video, hit that subscribe button boys. Can we get, so th the goal is to really just get this stuff booming guys so if you guys are here and you're new subscribe you won't regret it a ton of content throughout madden 22 on this channel all around stuff and of course guys smash the like button if you always watch like i always say it helps a lot to like can we get 25 likes in this video as well and we'll work our way up comment down below let me know which team captain you're already aiming towards or at the end of the video let me know if i swayed you and uh just, yeah that's it so let's get into this team captains power up your team captain with team captain tokens earn them by completing these activity a new activity will be available with every team affinity release so team captain can be tied to team affinity so when we get a new one we will be getting more tokens Com okay, so this is what's important here right team captains are gonna have super cheap training so in years past it has cost either a a lot of training to get your team captain up or a lot of time this year guys right off the rip when you start the game you can get them from an 85 to 89 overall with it costing only i believe five training per upgrade so it'll cost you 20 training to get them up to max overall so that's a day one start on your team for literally free you could quick sell like one gold and have that it just, it's a joke i'm happy they did it that way because they made team of captains too expensive in the past years and at the end of the day i mean team captains are only this good compared to everyone else like they're here and this is everyone else and then they cost training it's like why waste my money i'd rather get a, i'd rather replace him with a base elite and then power them up or, or legend right so this year guys they're actually pretty good and the fact you can get the max for only 20 training and even better guys to put any ability on them it's five training x factor beliefs or abilities were 10 and training and x factors were five or five was training and x factors were 10 vice versa whatever point is you can get these cards all abilityed out all x factored out all up to eight and over for under 100 training and you can do that whenever so the benefit of these cards is going to be this let's say right there's um there's Lance Allworth 88 speed, and then there's another wide receiver 88 speed, right? That wide receiver 88 speed, you have to you want to, you have to power them up, spend up to two to three k worth of training on them, which is another like hundred thousand coins worth of training to get abilities on them. Plus their X factor, that can cost you upwards of hundred to two hundred k worth of training, plus the hundred k card. Or Lance Allworth is free, twenty training to get them to max to equal overall, probably even a better overall because he's an 89. And then also you can abilities and everything on him for another like a thousand coins. And you could test abilities too. Let's say, let's say um, it's later in the year, right? Or even in a month. You finally ready to put abilities in your team, but you're like, who do I try, right? I don't want to keep losing training, testing them out. So you only put one ability on because you don't want to waste training. Go to Lance Allworth or any of these guys. Put any ability you want. I'm, I'm going to try this deep ability. I want to try this uh, this route running one. Test them out in games. If you don't like them, change them. They're five, they're five training or 10, right? I think that's a big thing. I think that's the biggest thing they added that's really going to make me excited. But let's get into the players now. So we got Lance Allworth. This is going to be his 89 card right here. It's a little blurry, guys, because, of course, the stream was in and out of cutting out of lag before last night. But here we go. So, 88 speed for Lance Allworth with 89 Excel, 86 agility, 87 catching. Right off the rip, going to be one of the most athletic wide receivers in the game. One speed behind Tyree Kill, which is a big increase on what we typically get for a wide receiver as a team captain. And then, guys, we have some change of direction, 87, 86 juke. Lance Allworth is really, really good, in my opinion. And, um... You just you really he's just good. He's good. The speed alone will set him apart from everyone else. I'd love to have seen the route running here, but I'm not seeing it. But I imagine this card is gonna be good regardless. Then we have Jack Youngblood. Jack Youngblood fully maxed out as an 82 speed, 86 excel, 85 strength, 85 tackle, 88 play rec, 86 block shit, 86 power move, 88 finesse. Jack Youngblood is good. If you put a team strategy card in him and you get his finesse move above a 90 or even his block shed. He'd be a great day one end, to be completely honest with you, which again, I've never been able to say this. Team captains are always like, oh, they're free. It's like last year, I didn't like any of them. This year, they're good. They're top, and that's speed for a left end to start 82 speed with top tier finesse and block shed. Just not, not common, guys. That's a good card right there as well. Then we got John Lynch, who is, I really like John Lynch. 86 speed again, which is kind of low, but he gets 88 excel, 87 tackle, 86 play rec, 85 pursuit, 79 man, 7, 87 zone, and 89 hit power. So that does mean, guys, he can get, if you put the right strategy card, you can maybe get him above a 90 zone day one, right? Like, that's crazy. 90 zone day one, plus he already has 86 speed, and he has an 89 hit power, and good excel, and he's 6 foot 2. So this reminds me of the Steve Atwater, like, base legend from last year in the first eight. Going to be a really good card as well. Again, I wish the speed was a bit higher, but for a day one guy, you could even throw him in the box, play him at, and as a linebacker, he'd be crazy with that zone, hit power, 6 foot 2, 86 speed. Play linebacker for you, right? 
Then we got Sean Alexander. So the thing with Sean Alexander is there's already a bunch of faster backs, uh, Najee Harris, Saquon Barkley right off the rip. So I don't think he's going to be a fan favorite, but he is going to be cool for Seahawks fans and people who were a fan of Sean Alexander. He gets 86 speed, 88 excel, 82 agility, 88 carrying, 64 catching, 82 change of direction, 89 trucking, 88 break tackle. Going to be like Eddie George from last year. Uh, in my opinion, I'm not the biggest fan of Sean Alexander in terms of this year's Madden because, again, it is next gen though, guys. So the 225 weight could go, go a long way, but there's going to be Derrick Henry's and other guys. So, I mean, if this year proves to be another power back year, like current last year's current next gen was, it could be a big deal. But currently, I think Saquon could probably get the job done better with the speed and everything. Now to rank them, guys, in my opinion, Sean Alexander will be my fourth pick, my last pick by far. Uh, coming in at number two, I would probably put John Lynch. John Lynch, again, is pretty good. But the thing is, the 86 speed will make him only usable for a short period of time. He'll be phased out quickly. Great day one card, phased out quickly. Same thing with Sean Alexander. Jack Youngblood being an 82 speed left end means he will be able to be used for at least a month. I mean, the fastest end you'll probably see all month will probably cap it around 88 in my probably. And again, it's an end early in the year. Not a lot of quarterback scrambling, not a lot of fast back shit, not 99 speed. So it's usable. And if you can get, like I said, if you use the right strategy cards and get him above 90 finesse move at 90 block shed, he's going to be one of the best run stuffing and pass rushing guys day one out the gate. So he's really, really good. My personal pick is probably going to be Lance Allworth, though, because he does get 88 speed, 89 excel, which pretty much means you can get him and Tyree Kill and Jamar Chase, and you have the three, like, three of the fastest wide receivers in the game to start the year. And he comes stock, of course, with 87 catching, good awareness, good agility, good juking, good change of direction, good uh, ball carry vision, just a great card overall. Now, that's it for the team captain. So, like I said, I'd pick Lance Allworth or um, yet Jack Youngblood for sure. Again, it's preference. If you guys already have a Nat Jamar Chase, you don't need another wide receiver, and you already have an end, then take the other guys, right? Now, let's get into the um, the Mutt Loyalty stuff. All right, guys, so there's going to be the Mutt, the Madden Veteran Bonus, which is Mutt Loyalty. If you played any combination of Madden NFL 19, 20, or 21, then you're eligible for a special reward in Madden NFL 22. So what this means, guys, if you even... I'm pretty sure if you just even opened the game, didn't have to play Ultimate Team, you just had, like, you had it connected to your account, and you've at least opened it at least once and went to the menus... You're probably eligible. So, this isn't all Madden. This is Madden 19, Madden 20, 21, which I have been and played extensively all three of those games. So, if you only played one of them, let's say you just started in Madden 21, right? That was your first Madden ever. You never opened another one. You get one Elite Fantasy Pack, which is the 82 overall Elites. If you played two, you get two of them. If you played three, all three of them, you get three total packs. These packs will be available through Madden NFL 22 Veteran Rewards Fantasy Packs. So, these will probably be again. I don't think this will be a day one thing. I think these are all going to probably release on actual launch day, not EA Access. So just remember that because people always open on EA Access. They're like, where's my pre order? Where's my stuff? And I feel bad for people who don't watch YouTube or have Twitter because they definitely are just, they probably calling GameStop or calling, you know, EA and asking where their stuff is. And big waste of time. Hopefully, if you guys are here, you see this. But let's move on. So now we got Ezekiel Elliott, AJ Brown, Richie Incognito. So these are a few of the ones you can see now. There's going to be a lot of cards in here. Typically, there'll be one for each team. So you're going to be 32 uh, cards. Now, these aren't going to be their actual base elite cards, right? These are just like not exclusive to only this pack. So the real Zeke, Ezekiel Elliott will be like an 84 overall, basically. But this will be his 82. These cannot be powered up. They're just could be day one guys. Now, my best advice on who to take, take a depth position or take a position you don't like upgrading. So for me, would you ever take Zeke? I personally wouldn't unless you're a no money spent guy. You don't play a lot. You just want a team to play. That's different. But for the average user, guys, take a depth position or take a position you don't like upgrading. So let's say you, you, you're O-line, right? Let's say you get all three packs, guys. Some of the smartest thing you could do, like day one, is take a center, a right guard, a left guard, a tackle, and a right tackle. Take three of them. You have your whole line stacked out. And if you get Elijah Vera Tucker from the Rick Premiers, let's just say, you could have an entirely 82 and above starting O-line start the year, which will feel pretty dominant considering everyone else probably won't. That's my first advice take defensive tackles take a backup dt a, D, a dt2 right because you may you may buy a warren sap base legend the first two weeks right let's say he comes out 88 overall but you now need a backup defensive tackle so take a defensive tackle maybe you need to take a third corner take it find the fastest corner on here take him as a third corner um you can go ahead take a linebacker you need a linebacker one two even a three sometimes take those go ahead and take if there's a kicker there take a kicker if you don't want to buy a kicker if there's a punter take a punter Take it. Uh, I wouldn't take. I wouldn't personally take any skill positions because on offense, personally, because the issue with that is that wide receivers in here are going to be super slow. So are running backs and so are tight ends. So I personally would. The only things I would touch are offensive line, maybe a backup running back if you feel the need, like you need one, and then I'd probably go defensive line, offensive line, linebacker, cornerback. Because again, 
when you're playing solos the first week you're not gonna be spending you don't people don't always spend their coins the first week they just kind of like get them and accumulate while they play solos so just get players to fill out your team so solos aren't as hard for some people but yeah guys that's going to be wrap up today's video i went over the best team captain i went over the loyalty veteran stuff so again if you guys have any questions comment them down below let me know if you guys have any concerns Make sure to subscribe. Come join the family, boys. Let's get up in subs. I want to get... I, my goal this year is to at least hit 30 to 40K. Uh, hopefully. So let's keep trying to grow. We were on pace last year. Things went down a little bit. Smash the like button. Can we get 25 likes in this video? And of course, you want to follow me on Twitter. If you have to ask me questions, my DMs are always open. So description down below. There should be a Twitter link. Hit that. Thank you for watching. I'm out. Peace.